Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss another topic of intellectual property rights and which is comes under the copyright, the topic is registration of copyright. So here we are going to discuss the first overview of copyright, after that we will go for the registration of copyright. As we have already discussed, copyright is an exclusive right granted to the author by the state or the by government of India for limited period of time. So, here we have already discussed limited period is lifetime of an author plus 60 years. So, here as we know registration is not compulsory in copyright and trademark cases. So, under here this under copyright act 1957 it is also given this registration of copyright is optional in nature. So, if you want to go for registration, you can go otherwise it is not mandatory, but it is advisable you should go for the registration. So, as we are saying this is statutory right as Indian Copyright Act was enacted in 1957. Now, it is this property is given to you because this act was passed otherwise you do not have right of copyright. So, in, in this uh, for registration quality is also not necessary. How so many people are going for registration even though they do not have quality in their work whether it is a literary work, artistic work, cinematograph work or we can say uh, there are uh, other architecture or uh, audio video works are also there. So, you can go for the registration in spite you do not have the quality in the work. So, this is not an essential for registration. So, another important aspect of copyright is idea cannot be copyrightable, but expression of idea is copyrightable. We will also done some case law relating to that. This is most important concept of under this copyright. The idea itself is not copyrightable unless until it is expressed in express form or in tangible form or in written form or we can say in physical form. So, mere idea in your mind is not copyrightable as per copyright act 1957. So, now for registration why what are the principle of registration of copyright. So, if something is worth copying, if your work is having worth, if it's, it, it has value that must be protected by law. So, law helps you for for your freedom of expression by way of copyright. So, copyright help you to uh, for your uh, protection of work for you uh, give you a proper ownership of your uh, this right on all the uh, this subject matter which we have covered under section 13 and 14 of Indian Copyright Act. So, I want to give some overview of this registration also. Under this registration we already done this registration is not compulsory, but optional nature but advisable you should go for the registration. So, now another important concept of registration is it is automotive in nature. How? It is an inherent right. Whenever any person has created any work, copyright is also it take copyright in itself. For example, you have created one poem, you have written some novel. So, no one can make copy although you have not go for the registration. But it is already I am saying you go for the registration if it will give you legal ownership and you can file a case against that particular person. But even, even though you have not go for the registration, but you have written something rough notebook or you have made some other creative work that is also protectable under this Indian Copyright Act. So, after expiration of period we have also discussed ki lifetime plus 60 year is there the protection period is there. So, when this time period is expired, then that work comes into the public domain. So, from this public domain, any person can go for the 
you can use that particular work. But here also we have already discussed yesterday this, uh, this under principle of fair dealing anyone can use your copyright work also in under protection of this principle of fair dealing where any student, teacher or any academician can use your work in uh, for academic and research purposes. So, this registration helps you for the prime FSI evidence because now by way of registration you have a legal ownership and because of that now you have a certificate in your name by which you can prove your uh, this ownership and this is also we can say this is a prime FSI evidence in your name. So, it is also protect your rights from infringement. So, when you become a legal owner of for a, we can take example here if you are a legal owner of particular property or in second case you have just possession although in law possession is 9 point of law, but legal ownership matters also because you have a registration certificate of your land or of your building of your flat or same in similar case we can say you have a registered certificate of this copyright in case of dispute or in case of controversy. So, the person who are going to infringe your right will be beware or will be vigilant about that if someone has copyright in this work or not because your work will be registered with the copyright office of this Indian government. So, you have also right to sue, you can file a case, you can go for the, this uh, civil and criminal remedies also, you can go for the permanent injunction also, you can go for the Anton pillar order also, you can go for the number of other remedies for example, dynamic injunction is also there, we have already discussed uh, this uh, Mariva injunction is also there, you can go for the damages also, you can also go for the we can say account of profit. So, when you have a certificate in your name you have right to file case against the person who infringes or who has copied your copyright work. So, under criminal remedy also you can also go for this court can also impose penalty on the infringer from 50,000 to 2 lakh rupees or he can also go for the imprisonment from 6 months to 2 year or if again subsequently he is going for infringement then it can be this increase from 2 year to 3 year. So, in you have both type of remedy civil, criminal or other administrative remedies are also there in case of breach of your copyright. So, here as we have already discussed it confers legal ownership as you are going to now become king of your copyright work. Now, everyone will be aware ki you are the this copyright owner of your work. Now, you have also property right, property right means you can also sell, you can also license, you can also relinquish your work, you can also make license to number of person. You can take example here of Harry Potter novel. So, in the Harry Potter some person has now made movie in India. Hari Putter. So, Hari Putter was restrained by the J K Rowling or the, the persons who have made the Harry Potter movie. So, why? Because Harry Potter is a registered copyright work of J K Rowling. So, J K Rowling has a we can say legal ownership on Harry Potter's work. So, he has also property right. Now, anyone want to publish this a work of uh, this J K Rowling or of Harry Potter in India or in South Asia then he has to take permission from the J K Rowling. So, he has right to sell also or he can also give license, he can assign those work or in the case of transmission in the case of death the right will be go to his legal hires or legal representatives. So, it is just like a will although it is not uh, registration of it is not uh, compulsory nature, optional nature, but as in case of will you should go for the registration uh, uh, similarly you should also go for the registration of copyright. So, that if there is in the case of dispute or controversy you can prove you can prove prime FSI your case in the court of law or you can claim compensation also from another persons. So, this is a one mark one logo 
one symbol which is in your books, CDs or any work whether it is a literary work, artistic work, you can paste, you can write, you can paste this logo or the symbol at your work which you are going to register. Although it is not compulsory for registration, but this implies this work belongs to either author or you can say publisher. So, author or publisher or we can say owner, we will discuss in some uh, later slides where we have to prove ki who is the first owner of that particular work. So, author is the first owner of a particular work, after that he has also right to assign these things to any other or other person or he can take himself also. There may be chances ki he can also make contract with publisher also, he can assign his right in whole or in, in some part of his work to the publisher also. So, there are so many formalities ki what type of contract you are entering to a enter with the publisher. There may be also cases of contract in course of employment also. If some person is working in some government organization and he is just research scholar or he has uh, specially appointed for that particular work, then that work will be go to the that particular organization. So, there it all depend on the contract or the agreement entered between the this particular author and with the that another whether it is a employer or particular organization under which he is going to work. So, I want to now discuss what are the types of work for which we can get copyright. So, there are as per section 13 and 14 of Indian Copyright Act, these are the work from which we can say an author or owner of that particular work can go for the registration. So, in case of literary work, we have already discussed literary, literary work may be relating to literature, it may be poem, it may be some novel, it may be some digitation, it may be thesis. So, in all cases or it may be dictionary also. So, so many this compilation of data is also comes under literary work. So, many cases are also there where court proves, court held that compilation of data is also comes under the literary work. So, in all these cases registration of copyright, you can claim registration of copyright. In artistic work also, you can go for the painting, you can also make some particular uh, we can say design on 2D form which are no, uh, not comes under design act, then he can go for this artistic work. And another for, uh, this type is dramatic work, a drama which you have written, if that is written that will comes under the literary work. If drama is written or here in literary work you can also include lyrics of songs. So, when there is a lyrics, there is a writing drama that will include under the we can say literary work, but when you are going to perform the drama on stage then dramatic work come into picture. And another when you are just writing a lyrics or writing a notation of sound recording, then it may be comes under the literary work. Lyrics, written lyrics may be comes under the literary work. When you are singing the lyrics, it will comes into the musical work. Here you can also say musical work. Similarly, when notations are there, it is literary work. When you playing that rotation, this notations of that sounds, that music, then it will comes under the sound recording or musical work. So, here cinematograph films also include video plus visual plus audio. So, that is also protected. So, all these things computer programs are also included under the copyright work, architecture work. So, all these things are comes under this particular symbol. So, that is comes under the these type of works. There are also we can say this performers, performers work. We have already discussed performers, the performers who perform the work before the public. For example, I am a teacher, I am performing this work in the class before the student, then that will come in the performance work. But when recording is going on, as I am delivering lecture here, this is a cinematograph work when it is comes into the recording. But when I am giving the live performance in the class or in the stage or in the particular auditorium, 
then that will come under the performers. So, their rights are also infringed if there is without permission someone is going to broadcast. So, another thing is here broadcasting rights. Broadcaster works or yeah, broadcasting is also included under the this type of work which comes under the registration of copyright. So, all these persons, all these works are included under the copyright work. So, after that, now I want to tell you about this ki how registration of copyright work uh, we will go for that. There may be chances in literary work, there may be a published work or there may be a non published work. So, you have to file an application with published work with three copies and you have to file for a non published work with the, uh, two copies. So, there may be chances when uh, so many people who are at later, later stage of life whether he is 70 year old or 80 year old try to write something. For example, in one Naj Najma Habtullah case is there, this our this Abdul Kalam Ajad has written one uh, this uh, uh, this particular book uh, that is uh, f uh, this uh, freedom one book was there, I forget the name, but when there was a dispute between Orient Longman company and with the Najma Habtullah. So, why? Because there are chances when some old person died when he is writing a work and his work become unpublished. So, it, the arrangement has also been made for publication of work after death under copyright also and if some work is already published then you can also go for the registration. So, provisions are made for both work whether it is a published work or non published work. Non published work may include thesis also, dissertations also and non published work may be a author who died, diseased person work can be included under the non published work. So, arrangements are also made, provisions are also there under Indian Copyright Act relating to published as well as non published work. So, important thing is you have to make separate applications for each type of work. You cannot file a joint application even though joint applicant may be there for single work, but separate application must be filed for separate work each type of different work. So, each work we have to file separate application here single and joint author jo authors may be an applicant here. So, it may you can file yourself, you can file with your spouse also, you can file with your children also, you you may be an author, but this owner may be a different. So, if you assign your work to any other person, he may be an owner. So, there are so many cases also, there are so many chances where agreements are entered between the parties on their terms and conditions. So, for example, we can give author can assign his right to some company for example, to uh, some law professor given his right to the Eastern book company. So, Eastern book company can claim copyright here. So, it depends on the terms and condition of particular work or Eastern book company can also give royalty to the author and author can himself take copyright, but that work may be published by some publication company. So, that is depend on terms and condition. So, now important thing another important thing is one can file and copyright application either online and offline. In today's lecture we will discuss both things in online mode also we can go for the registration because nowadays technology has its own height, it has own advantages. So, throughout India you can file an application for copyright, registration of copyright whether you are sitting in Sikkim, Sikkim or whether you are sitting in Tamil Nadu or in Delhi itself. So, uh, as the this copyright registrar office is in this Dwarka New Delhi, this Bodhik Sampada, this building is there in sector 14, you can go for that, but you can also file registration online. So, that is good on the part of this copyright office. Now, you can go, you can also submit your fee online through online mode. So, very important uh, thing and uh, for online and offline mode. So, here we can now say ki for how many time 
you can protect your work because it is a very lengthy time why there is a lifetime plus 60 years and for this work 60 period time period is counting. How? Why there is a 20 year time period for patent and why there is a six lifetime plus 60 year time period is there as patent includes inventions and with our monopoly right. Now, no one can make copy of that monopoly right or that particular invention either in process or in product, but here in under copyright idea is protectable idea is not protectable. So, you can make different expression of same idea. So, there are so many serials, there are so many uh, this movies on same idea. You can also write some book on this particular idea also. As we have already discussed one case of the lady who has written this, this novel a woman of substance. Yesterday we have discussed that case also. So, where if particular idea is there for example, romanticism is there. So, many directors or producer have made uh, this uh, movie zone, this love affair of uh, these college girls and boys. So, here there is also idea of dispute between Sas and Bahu. So, all these things are comes under this idea and for that now you can go for the registration on different expression of an idea that is why time period is lifetime plus 60 years. So, otherwise in other cases in patent only 20 years is there. So, you can also give lecture on intellectual property rights, I can also write a book on IPR, you can also write a book on IPR. So, there is no such thing you can express your thing differently and I have to express my things differently. That is why this and the time period is large in copyright case. So, how we will count this copy this 60 years. So, in the case of original literary, dramatic or musical work. Now, how can we decide originality? As we discuss in other lectures, so originality although not necessary, but it may be original in expression of those ideas. Expressions for expression originality is required for idea originality is not required under copyright act. So, for literary, dramatic, musical work or artistic work 60 year period is counted from the year following the death of author. For example, death of author was there in 2014. So, work 60 years will be started from 2025 January. So, the year following the death of author. So, from 1st January 2025 this uh, this period of 60 year will be counted from that. Otherwise, so many controversies are there. Otherwise, you can file an appeal of register before the copyright board also if there is a dispute relating to the this copyright period. So, in the case of cinematographic films, sound recordings, photographs or posthumous publications as we have researched unpublished work of a diseased person or anonymous or pseudonyms or this pseudonymous publications work of government. Now, government work and international organization work has also 60 year time period because there is no author this is just government organization this copyright is there it can be counted from date of publication. So, these both things first and second has different this uh, time period because here first lifetime of author is there, but here only 60 year time period is given to these work whether it is a government work whether it is international for example, United Nations work is there or this ILO international labor organization work is there. So, many these working papers are there on so many uh, this international or national organization which have done commendable work related to their specialized area. So, here it is clearly given under Indian Copyright Act. 1957. So, now how registration of copyright started? What is the procedure or process for registration? So, it is very easy as it is very easy for registration, it is very easy to copy also. So, this copyright act gives provision relating to how we can go for the registration, but there are so many technological now apps are there or there are so many technology these softwares are there by which you can make copied or you can change, you can plagiarize that those particular things, but this this judiciary has done commendable work to protect the work of author by different uh, these uh, remedies. 
So, first you have to file an application just form 14 is there which includes statement of particulars, your for example, your name of particular author, the work in which class your work is there, whether it is a literary class, artistic work is there, dramatic work is there, architecture work is there, you have to give each particular of those work and statement of further. So, there are some columns are there, so you have to fill those uh, details in those columns. So, first this prescribe in first schedule, there are rules also relating to that, just as we are filling the form, you have to fill that form relating to that, it is very easy form. Now, online applications are also there on this particular, uh, this website of Indian Copyright Office. So, as we already discussed, this separate application should be made for registration of each work, whether your work is literary, different novels are there, different works are there, whether you are going for the architecture work or whether you are going for the, for example, you have one book, outside of this page you have made some particular design, that work on front page of a book will be comes under the artistic work and inside content of that book will be included under the literary work. So, there may be more than two work in same book or there may be chart or there are other things, they will be comes under the content and they will be comes under the literary work of the, that particular things. So, here you can file a different application for that artistic work as well as for uh, this uh, literary work also. So, now the main issue relating to fee, very less fee see there for literary work, for other things, for licensing of that work or for other uh, cinematograph or we can say sound recording, the fee is uh, not less, but for literary work it is very less in, we will discuss the fee relating to that also. So, application must be signed as I told you, it is just like a one application form, you have to fill the particulars relating to all these things and if you are uh, this uh, hire some advocate, then that advocate must be signed, that power of attorney must be signed by the parties as well as advocate also. So, but form is very easy relating to all other this species of intellectual property rights, copyright form you can fill yourself, but in case of other patents, it is very technical application, you may hire some or you can take help of some advocate or you can take help of some patent agent in patent cases, but here in this application is very easy, you can fill yourself also. So, you have to fill the fee also, submit the fee also, you have to sign, you have to fill all the particulars. So, that is the main thing. Now, after that you can fill the fee, the different forms are there, you can make a DD for that, Indian postal order is there in the name of registrar of copyright. Now, another thing is you can make a e-payment. So, there is no, we can say uh, this uh, formality for making formality of demand draft because so many charges are there. You can fill because now there is so many apps are there, you can directly make payment through these e-payment e methods. So, that is very good on the part of this Indian copyright office which given access for e-payment facilities. So, each and every column of statement of particular statement of further previously replied specially. So, if there is isn't some these particulars, you have to specifically replied for that. It is not in total, in total you can give one reply in all, no. It must be replied separately for each columns, for each and we can say particulars must be given for that. So, after that, we can also see this flow chart which is uh, this provided by this uh, our Indian Copyright Office. I want to acknowledge the Indian Copyright Office that has given this very good chart, flow chart relating to that. So, we can see you can file an application with fee directly, diary number will be given, you will receive one diary number and 30 days mandatory time period is there for every case. Why? Be if you file some application for copyright and some another person has objection relating to that. So, opportunity is given to the whole world whether they have objection against your registration, then within 30 days they can file an objection for, for your work. If there is no objection, 
you can go for this side. If there is an objection is filed by someone, then uh, we will go this side. So, that register of copyright office will send letter to both party and this invites reply from both party. So, being an your applicant, you have to give reply to that particular application, a particular objections. If there is no reply, then another process will be started scrutinization by examiner. Then you will, if some discrepancy is filed, there may be some error filled by you, then you can go for that. Uh, we can say you will inform by the register office some such type of discrepancy is there, you have to uh, this clear that, that discrepancy, you, you have to file a reply also. There may be hearing by the registrar, if there is hearing, he can also reject also, but if there is hearing and you have cleared that objection, then or discrepancy, then your registration will be approved and you will get certificate for that. So, it is a very easy process, if there is no discrepancy and there is no objection, you will get your certificate or your copyright registration. So, in case of all the these species of intellectual property rights, registration of copyright is very easy. You can you, yourself file copyright, uh, this registration application for that yourself. There is no need of advocate, there is no need of help of any other person. In online method also you can file, you can upload the copy, we will discuss in later slide ki how we can go for the registration of uh, these, these things in online. So, here also you can go for the hearing, this if some objection is filed, now you will re receive a letter from register office and from register office uh, you have to give reply for that, there may be hearing, but if he is satisfied you have cleared your objection filed by another person, then your application will be accepted and same process will be given and objection of another person will be rejected by registrar and same your application will be scrutinized by examiner of copyright office, then same process discretionary found or not. If this there is no discretionary found, you can go for the registration. If there is discrepancy found, same thing you will get some letter from registrar office and same these process will be there, you have to give the reply and there may be hearing before the star, you have to clear your discrepancy and you will get the registration certificate. Same thing here also, hearing by registrar, your application accepted, if not accepted, your application will be rejected. But in most of the cases, you will get the registration letter, you will get your certificate for that, your work if there is no objection and there is no discrepancy. In most of the cases, there is no discrepancy. In most of the cases, there is, we can say, not objection filed by anyone if your work is original and you can express your idea. It must be copy in whole. You can take copy of idea only, but your expression must be different for that. So, now we can discuss here the online registers. So, under online registration of copyright, very easy these steps are there. First, you have to create your this user ID. You can create for the after creating this user ID, you can buy your password, you can go for the login. So, after login, you can go for the new users registration. If you have not registered, first you have to create your user ID, after that you can go for the new user registration. Now, for you should go for that user ID and password for future use also. So, after login, now you can go for the copyright registration online. So, after online registration, there are only four steps are there, very easy. First, same thing as form 14 is there under copyright act and rules, here this form 14 you have to fulfill that form. As in physical form also, you have to fulfill the, this form 14, same online it is very easy, you have to give the particulars as we have discussed here, you have to give particulars, statement of particulars, statement of uh, these all these things relating to that which are given under the rules. So, here particulars of your name, your address, your copyright work, whether it is a literary work, artistic work or any other work, you have to give particulars under this, uh, this form 14 and you have to save that th thing and you can go for the next step. 
under this next step you have to upload your signature. So, some limitation is there of your that uh, that file you can uh, go for up, uh, this signature after signature updation you can go for the fill up the statement of particulars again you have to give some particulars relating to that in which area you are going to fulfill all these things and you can go for the next step in this. So, this form is applicable for literary, dramatic, musical, artistic and software and then again you can go for the this step 4. So, step 4 is only relating to the payment mode. So, you can give you can submit your payment through this online method we will now discuss ki how much payment is there for different types of work. So, under this different type of work you can after, after payment you can after uh, this succession submission of form and this payment diary number will be generated you can note it down for future references. So, now the important thing is if you have artistic work that must you can upload in PDF or JPG form. Same thing sound recording work you have to upload in MP3 format. If there is an literary, dramatic, musical or software is there you can upload in PDF format that must be less than 10 MB. So, same thing so many times we are filling the form for different jobs also, different employment purposes also for different we can say updation of our CV also. So, same uh, very easy format is there you have to upload just you have to fulfill uh, form 14. So, so, it is also given PDF containing at least 10 first 10 and last 10 pages of source code. If PDF is large you can also take uh, first 10 or last 10 pages of source code and entire source code if less than 20 pages. It is for the we can say in software cases. So, there is a star. So, source code may be of 100 pages software this source code may be of 10 pages also. So, that is why it is specifically mentioned in this if you are going to upload the file relating to computer programs. So, very good this uh, online system is there by sitting everywhere anywhere in India you can submit this form online. So, now next another step is you can take one hard copy print of acknowledge slip and word hard copy print of copyright registration form and you have to send it to the copyright division board which is DIPP and it is in sector 14 near this national law university Delhi Dwarka it is in sector 14 you have to send it by registered post. So, now this is a online process and after that we can see here what is the registration fees. So, very important thing I have this highlighted differently why because most of these being academician or being a student or being a publisher we must know ki how much fee is there very less fee there for this literary, dramatic, artistic and musical work. Most of these work of copyright falls under the literary, dramatic, artistic or musical work. But now you are going for commercialization of that work then fees is 10 times. You can see in simple case for copyright work it is only 500, but if you are going to give license to somebody to some publisher to some any other person in case of dramatic musical work for example, T series or super cassette industry is going to give license to someone else to FM channel or to some uh, broadcasting uh, these uh, these uh, TV channels. So, then they have to file a fee of rupees 5000 per work. So, this license is a form of one by uh, one form of transfer of this copyright. So, we can transfer by way of assignment then registration will be there if you are giving the license then registration will be there if there is a transmission then registration will be there. But in the case of licensing you are giving to this dramatic, musical or artistic work and literary work 5000 per work is there and if you are giving license to communicate to a work by public by broadcast. Now, I am saying you are giving your work to any broadcast TV channel or FM channel. Now, 40,000 per applicant or per station is there. Here this per station may be uh, radio mirchi may be there, there may be FM channels or there may be Delhi Doordarshan or this uh, star plus channel is there or Aaj Tak is there. So, if 
some license is entered between the parties then 40,000 fees is there. So, very high fee is there for this type of licensing because they have to earn million of rupees from that. So, if you are giving license to republish the cinematograph films already that is published, but you are giving license to any other person. In this case so many times these movies of South India is we can say published in North India also, we can say republished in North India also or some literary work is republished in uh, for another films. For example, Chetan Bhag Bhagat novel is republished in uh, film, 5 point someone is republished in we can say in this uh, 3 idiots. Then if the agreement is there, license there that has to be registered under this copyright act 15,000 for work. There may be voluntary license then there is no need of registration, but if there is a statutory license then there is a need of this registration. So, when as we have already discussed this copyright is statutory right. So, if he, we have to go through the statute Indian Copyright Act 1957 then we have to go for this specific we have to fill this specific fee. For license to publish a sound recording same 10,000 fee there for license to perform a work in public. Now, so many singers are there, so many songs are there which are recording, which are recorded already by some recording uh, these companies. But if now you want to play that song in general public, you want to perform those songs in public, now you can go for you have to fill the fee of rupees 5000 rupees. So, uh, you are taking benefit from that copyright of that work and you are using that work for commercial purposes. So, uh, in uh, you are performing in auditorium also where fee is very high for audiences all these things. So, 5000 fee there for that type of work. For license to publish or communicate to public the work or translation. Now, in the work of translation or communication to public this 5000 rupees fee is there and for license to publish any work in any format used for person with disability this fee is very less because we can discuss here this copyright act amendment was made in 2012. Here it is specifically directed by government of India to translate the work or we can say we can make it in another form it may be in audio books or the language which is read by that particular this person from disability then you are going to changing the format for that particular work that fees is less as compared to other fees. So, this only 2000 rupees fees is there because it is welfare or for the benefit of disabled person that is good part on the government they are taking care of the per, uh, this person with disabilities. So, now another instance there for application for license to produce a publish a translation of literary dramatic or in any language you are changing now language you are translating from Hindi to English, English to Hindi then you are also taking benefit from that by publishing that work throughout India. So, you have to pay 5000 rupee fees for that. So, there is just general overview of these registration fees. There are so many other uh, these formats are there where you can go for those things and you have to fill the fees. But the main thing is here for literary artistic first time when you are going to going for registration. So, that is only very less fees only rupees 500. So, now who is author under this registration? So, subject to provision this act 1957 section 17 specially says author of a work shall be owner of copyright. So, who is author? Author is everyone who has created the work. So, now author will be the owner of that copyright work. So, it is specifically statutory recognizes the author of work to be the first owner of the work. So, section 17 is important in this perspective. So, we can also see section 13 of Indian Copyright Act 1957 in the case of published work that work must be published in India and author must be citizen of India and date of publication or if date of publisher or if dead at the time of his death that must be published in India because we have to bifurcate the published work or unpublished work. So, we can also see 
this uh, in case of unpublished work the time of making an unpublished work must be citizen of India and domicile in India where the making of unpublished work is extended over a considerable prime. So, this unpublished work must be there in both cases are there that person may be a dead or person may be alive. So, we have to see how this section 7 uh, we can say uh, special provision is made for this author to find out the author at the time of making an unpublished work it must be sitting in India, but foreigners can also make application first they have to make registration in their uh, in this country after that we can go provision for copyright in our country also. So, after that we can see now author because owner will be an author and who is the now author? We can say everyone is a author who is creating uh, whether musical work, whether we can say literary work, artistic work, cinematic work, everyone is author. So, se section 2 D we can see here section 2 D specifically define this in case of literary dramatic who is the author? Author of work, the person who creates that thing, the creator of that work. So, in the case of music work, the composer who composed that music. In artistic work, the artist other than photograph because photograph will come later on. So, in the case of photograph, the person taking the photograph, we will discuss case here also, a chimpanzee case there, we will discuss now after this slide in relation to cinematograph films sound recording. Now, producer is the author of this that particular movie, there may be director, there may be other persons are also there who are giving uh, contributing to that, but producer is the main author as per this section 2 D. Now, in case of literary, dramatic or musical artistic work which is computer generated, because nowadays AI is playing very important role. For example, you are making some research paper, you are making book with the help of AI app. Chat GPT for example, you can take chat GPT. So, you are making the book now can chat G GPT become a co-author of you? Now, that is also a matter of concern, but here the main thing as per section 2 D whether this work is computer generated the person who caused the work to be created. It means natural persons are author here not artificial person we can say it is a computer generated under this. So, that is very important thing under this uh, section 2 D of Indian Copyright Act. So, we can also take 2 3 case law which, which is related with the registration of copyright here in this Donokyo versus Allied Newspaper Limited court specifically held that there is one issue that there was one speaker who speaks on the for example, on dais and there were some newspaper reporter who jot down those points and written by his skill in the newspaper. So, when that reporter has written in the newspaper the speaker claims copyright over that. So, in, in this case we can say the court specifically held that it is the reporter who has a copyright on that work because he has made notes by using skills, spending time and jot down those points. So, but in the case of speaker we can say he has expressed only his thoughts which comes in idea as in starting or in the copyright lecture we have discussed ki mere idea is not copyrightable, but expression of idea is copyrightable. Now, expression includes it may be in physical form, it may be in tangible form or it may be in we can say expressive form, it may be in some written form may be there. So, unless and until these forms are there your work is not copyrightable. So, that is why in this case court this decided the reporter is the actual copyright owner not the speaker who speak on the that particular stage. So, very important case relating to this. Now, we can also see monkey selfie case that one, one, one person who having a camera taking or capturing picture of uh, animals in zoo when he was taking picture of that particular this uh, uh, 
uh, this monkey in a zoo that camera was fell down inside the, that particular this uh, monkey was there. So, this monkey has took selfie from that camera. Now, this picture was very famous throughout the world. Now, that Jew authorities are also cla or claiming copyright over that. Now, the question arises whether animals have copyright. So, in 2012, the case was filed against this owner of this particular this picture and after that 4 years was this case was pending for last 4 years from 2012 to 20, 2016. So, at last case was compromised and now it was decided the, uh, the revenue generated from this picture will be divided between the uh, this owner of that particular camera and the person who has captured the picture. Now, the picture is captured by monkey not by any human being, but it was the case was compromised between Jew authorities and with that particular the person who has owner of camera, who was uh, having camera in, in his hand. So, now I want to tell you about the latest position of this copyright registration in India. I have taken this uh, data from indiastat.com. So, we can say in 2015-16, we have total received application. 14,812 and we have disposed pending applications also in 2015 uh, 16, 16,000 approximately 16,000 application we have disposed. So, we can say very good this copyright office done commendable job in this deciding the cases and after that these application increased every year you can see here and up to this application she received, but now in 2021-22, these applications are decreased I think because of COVID era. So, this time this applications were decreased from 23,000 to 1800. Similarly, case were not decided as per this as we have decided earlier this copyright office. So, here in this 2016-17, very few cases decided as compared to 2015 and 16. So, after that it was this copyright office had done good job as I think in this NPR policy was made in this 2016 because of that new staff was appointed by government of India in copyright office and other IP office. New buildings were made, new infrastructure were made and whole new staff was appointed for this disposing of all these application. So, we can see here. Now, they had disposed of I think more than 2 times application as we decided in 2015 and 16. So, after that, that was good process, but now because of this COVID time, the applications will this fall down and decide this disposal is also came down as compared to these things. So, we can say this copyright is exclusive right, which we can for that statutory right also that what we, uh, although this is optional in nature, but applications are increasing every year. So, thank you very much relating to the, we have discussed this important topic after that we will go for the infringement and remedies also. Thank you so much.